cringing. It's my first ever viral video. Oh, my butt doesn't look like that now, I'll tell you that. In my like villain era of TikTok. 4.3 million views. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Long time they see. So, I had a fun little crazy idea. Coming up to a year of being a Gymshark athlete and just over two years of content creation. And I thought it'd be really funny to um, go through and look at old TikToks. So I'm gonna eat my sushi and I'm gonna react to TikToks. And um, I haven't actually looked at my TikToks since I made them. Like, I, it's not something I go back and review. I feel like my content's changed quite a lot. And so I'm probably gonna cringe. Maybe this will be like a cringe warning. It's gonna be rough. So we're gonna we're gonna scroll far down. There's two worth of, two years worth of content. Pretty much, pretty much posting every day. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, right. We're getting far back. Just found my first viral video. I've just seen it. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! It's gonna be so cringe. <laughs> I don't wanna do it. Okay. Right. First video. 4,276 views, posted in, oh, okay, posted in December 2021. Don't train hard, they just don't train hard. It's as simple as that. Chicks don't lift like a f the, I, I remember this like so vividly because I used to train. Most Look, this is all I'm showing. <laughs> it's so funny because like this was the first place in my gym where I started filming and I only did it because my gym has like a partition wall and I was so terrified like there's literally no one even in the gym but I was like so terrified to film and like have someone see me film because back then that was like 2021 even then like no one was filming in the gym and it was like it just felt like one day she's healing Oh god, we're in the um, we're in the breakup era. From the first post I did, I'm like scrolling up and I've been posting every day. Loads of what I did to begin with was just rep responding to sounds and like that is what I would say definitely to go like viral is like, or if you do want to start making content creation, like that's definitely what I'd recommend is like um, just seeing what the sounds are like picking up on what's trending. Like any sound that I'd hear like a few times, I'd save it to favorites and then I'd do it. I don't know if you guys are aware, but TikTok couldn't come to an agreement, I believe with Sony. So loads of the old TikTok sounds have been removed and loads of music. So um, it's kind of, it kind of sucks really because I can't actually like, there's loads of this that I can't actually listen to. So it's fine. Right, okay, let's keep going. The quad workout you didn't know you needed. Let's see what I did. This is in February 22. So I've been lifting literally for like, I was such a baby, I've literally been lifting for like three months. Okay, barbell, what was that? Barbell lunge pulses, narrow stance leg press. Okay, well, a dumbbell step up is for your glutes. <laughs> So, um, yeah, good. Leg extension. I used to do like super pumpy stuff. Like I would really focus on tempo. I'd really ex like focus on just like feeling the squeeze. And I really noticed like a lot of muscle mass and like growth in the start. And I think it's cause I was doing a lot of really good movements. I'm in my like villain era of TikToks. <laughs> oh, this is my first ever viral video. Uh, it had four. It has four point three million views. 
it's muted now, but I'll still play it. But it was like this woman and she was like, if you want to build literally the biggest butt you've ever seen. And it, you can barely even see me in it. And I'm just, I just, at the time, I remember a lot of people didn't really use captions on the screen. So I just kind of like typed out like exactly what she said on cue with how she says it, said it. Because when people have like a visual cue, a lot of people like listen to watch TikToks or use social media when they're out and about. And maybe they can't listen. So when people have a visual cue, it kind of keeps them engaged for longer and that's kind of what you're after the whole time. 2020, 2021, 2022. Yeah, crazy really. My butt doesn't look like that now, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, these are the girls that were like my first gym friends. We were just like three girls and we would just hang out and it was like right at the start of my fitness journey and um, they like I think they could tell that I wanted to like post videos but it wasn't really a thing at the time um but they were like the perfect sort of support that I had in the gym we'd go like after work and then they'd just be there and they'd be like oh film it film it film it so like I've got all these like very early videos of them just being like hey and like you know all the videos that you see now where girls are like super encouraging like I feel like that was just like completely foreign a foreign idea or concept to me, you know, like girls could be friendly. So I don't know, I just it's nice to see. <gasps> oh my god, I just found I did not know this. This is so cool. It's a manifestation thing from March 22. Uh at this point I've not worked with any brands, I've not worked with like anyone I'm literally working as a nanny I don't really know much about gym and I put a like manifestation like thing up on my uh feed March 26th 2020 it says I quit my job today I've just been signed to Gymshark I have grown a platform that is a place where women feel empowered <laughs> that's so sick <laughs> we've now approached my second viral video now this one I feel like is quite a pinnacle moment my friends were reacting to me deadlift and I didn't realize until I went home and I found it really funny and at the time gym encounters weren't really a thing I think I'd seen Libby Christensen do she was like the only person really that I remember being inspired by of doing real life gym situations but anyway so this is the video Oh, there's no sound, obviously, because it's probably being taken away. But I'm doing sumo lifting as well, which is like, I haven't done that in literally years. And I'm just repping out a hundred. And they're like doing double takes. They're like, huh? You know, I got like absolutely crucified in the comments for the like lift. I did for this like I remember being so embarrassed it embarrassed about it but I think that's definitely like a learning curve that you come to realize about social media is that really as a rule of thumb as soon as you reach over a million congrats yeah you've got a viral video but you have to be prepared for the onslaught of like negative comments because I've noticed that generally from like a million onwards um people it's like they've pushed the video beyond your audience, beyond your like circles and your kind of people that would, you know, your your target audience. So you get the wider people, the people that will like start to criticize or not understand or get what you're about. And so, yeah, obviously that video got 9.8 million. So like now I feel like I've got a lot more perspective and understanding why people are so mean because they're mean on all of the comments, all of the videos. Uh, at this point, like, I was living, breathing gym, like, all the time. It was all I was doing. And at this point, actually, when my account started to grow, I'm now posting, like, three times a day. And it's funny, I actually was in a meeting with TikTok, or, like, I went to an event with TikTok there the other day, and, like, two years later, they were saying, like, if you do want to grow your channel, regardless of what point you're at, they say three a day 
I was really, really focusing on content creation. It like really made me happy. And I was just doing it just because it made me happy. And I like started making some like online friends from it. This was the one, the first one, I called it Wholesome Gym Encounters. And it was me just working out. And one of the girls that I knew from the gym, a lady, she walked past me. When I posted it, it went so viral just for being a really lovely moment that for me was a very normal moment in the gym. But not only that, I was, I think what stood out to me was that I was just being so authentically myself and people were like encouraging me to like post more of that. And for me, that was like a really scary video to kind of post. I'm living in my hometown, I'm living with my parents. I like found that really embarrassing to like be, you know, oh, what is she trying to be like a YouTuber or something, you know? So yeah, anyway, that's the background, but I just wanted to sh show you this. So let's have a look. This was also the first video that Gymshark ever reposted of me and I was beside myself. I could not believe it. I was so happy. And that really started like a chain of events where it'd be like, I'd have a, it was just insane really from that moment where I'd post, I was posting consistently three times a day after my nannying job, I'd go and I'd finish work at like eight, I'd get to the gym for 8.30 PM and then I'd film a load of content and then I'd spend the next day like studying for my PT course and doing editing the videos um, and I was just like knocking out viral video after viral video when you see something that does well even if it does like a little bit better than the other ones try to like really analyze and like break down like why has this done so well that was the start of like basically me having a viral video Gymshark posting it um, me having a viral video, Gymshark posting it. And so I was definitely like on their radar, even though like nobody in the industry knew me, um, but I just kept being shared loads. And at the time I was like so broke, I had like no money, <clears throat> no money, earning like minimum wage, part-time hours as a nanny, trying to like study at the same time and just like focus on just like, I don't know, getting myself back to like a better place, like mentally. My camera keeps dying, but, I hope that helped. I hope there was like some nuggets of information there. And it's kind of nice to go through like, uh, I don't know, past times and reflect. And I think that manifestation thing is really cool. So I'm happy about that. But yeah, I think I'm going to do a responding to workout videos because I feel like there's a lot to learn from it. But I'm going to wrap up before my phone or my camera dies because this is just tedious. Um, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. I have an editor. We're back. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Um, so I will see you next Friday or whenever you're watching, it's a Friday, I'm still talking, I'm done, have a lovely week, take care and I'll see you in the next one.